guys, Logan Bowles here, and welcome to Sunday Thoughts, a series where on every Sunday I give my thoughts on a particular person, place, thing, news, event, etc. Uh, and for this Sunday Thoughts video, I'm going to be t uh, giving in my thoughts on the news that, that broke earlier today, which is the Dallas Cowboys uh, decided to fire Jason Garrett, the head coach. Um, uh, it's been official. It was reported by uh, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport. I believe that's how you say his last name. Um, and so, yeah, it's official. After nine full seasons of coaching the Dallas Cowboys, Jason Garrett has finally uh, been fired. <laughs> have been uh, He and the Cowboys have decided to part ways. Uh, he'll no longer be the coach for, for this uh, organization and so let me let me get my thoughts on this good riddance good riddance uh, uh, finally it's been nine full seasons that he's been coaching this team and he should have been gone seven years ago uh, let me get you through Jason Garrett's tenure with the Dallas Cowboys coaching his nine full seasons technically all ten seasons but mostly nine full seasons that he's is there was their head coach from 2011 to 2019 in his first three full seasons as the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys he went eight and eight eight and eight and eight and eight and the last game of those three seasons those last three regular seasons uh, uh, each with, with a NFC East division title on the line uh, they lost to each of their NFC East division rivals, the New York Giants, the Washington Redskins, and the Philadelphia Eagles. And on top of all of that, uh, five, or I think it was five or six times out of the, out of the last nine seasons, uh, he missed the playoffs. Uh, and the three playoff appearances that he had, he only had two playoff victories each in the wild card. Around so he's two and three in playoff uh, co a competition, uh, and two of those three losses were against the Green Bay Packers, led by the bad man that is Aaron Rodgers, uh, at both one at Lambeau Field and one, the other at uh, AT and T Stadium, uh, Jerry uh, Jerry World. So yeah, his first three full seasons uh, were eight and eight seasons. The next is 12 and 4, 4 and 12, 13 and 3, 9 and 7, 10 and 6, and this season, 8 and 8. His fourth 8 and 8 season uh, under his belt. And on top of all of that, uh, he has not coached the Dallas Cowboys to, to an NFC Championship game, uh, let alone a Super Bowl. Uh, they, the Dallas Cowboys have not been to a Super Bowl since 1995, the year before I was born. That was back when Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, the playmaker Michael Irvin, and Emmett Smith were playing for that team. Uh, the, the same, and then uh, Jimmy Johnson was coaching that team, and Jerry Jones decided to move on from Jimmy Johnson. And ever since that happened, the Cowboys have not been the same, and they have not been to to an to a both to not only an NFC championship game but also a Super Bowl since then. What I'm saying is Jason Garrett uh, based on the record that he's have, which is pretty average if you ask me, uh, slightly above average, he, he has the he has the record to prove that he is not the right coach for this team. He's proven himself time and time and time again that he is nothing but a puppet for Jerry Jones and that all he does is clap uh, and slap his players on the backsides every time they either make a big play or were either stopped on offense um, and, or either gave up big plays. All he does is clap and, and uh, does the backside slap or hand slap uh, and all that other stuff. That's just who he is. And I feel like the only reason why he's even why he even coached for the Dallas Cowboys that long, nine full seasons, is because Jerry Jones loves Jason Garrett like 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 as if uh, Jason Garrett is his stepson, even though he's not. 
but he treats him like like a stepson, uh, like he's a stepson to Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones. Um, now that's, I mean, Jerry Jones, I mean, he might seem like a good guy. I, I don't know the man personally. I never met him. I don't know what he's like in real person. All I'm hearing is that he's a really a good guy, a really good man, great businessman, uh, and a marketing genius. That's all I'm hearing. So I don't know for a fact of, uh, of how he really is in real life. But all I will tell you is this. Jerry Jones has, for, for the last nine full seasons, continue to let his ego get in the way uh, of the Cowboys' success to go to the uh, Super Bowl. Uh, he, he hasn't uh, let, let his ego go, or sacrificed his ego uh, uh, for the good of the team in order to uh, let his team go to a Super Bowl. All he, I mean, he, he really likes Jason Garrett so much to the point where even after they lose in a playoff game, uh, uh, he just likes to keep Jason Garrett, uh, likes him so much because uh, of likability factor, the uh, relationships, or anything else. That's, that, is, that is probably why I think Jason Garrett's been coaching this team for a lot longer than he shouldn't have. Uh, because, again, he's proven himself to not be the right coach for this job. He doesn't seem to be the... Uh, the, the, the type of coach that can get his team over the hump, like Sean Payton or Sean McVay or Bill Belichick, for all that, for all, for all that matter, uh, and all the other coaches that have been to Super Bowls. Uh, uh, Pete Carroll, even though I don't like Pete Carroll because of his cockiness as a coach, at least he had a Super Bowl credentials. Jason Garrett has not. Uh, he doesn't have the Super Bowl credentials because he hasn't been any, let alone an NFC Championship game. So it's good news uh, to, to hear that Jason Garrett is gone and that he's no longer going to be the Cowboys head coach. So anyway, guys, those are my Sunday thoughts on Jason Garrett, or on the Dallas Cowboys firing Jason Garrett after a disappointing 8-8 eight and eight season, which happens to be Jason Garrett's fourth 8-8 eight and eight season with them as I already said. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it that like button to click. And if you like to see future videos from me, make sure to press up there to subscribe and don't forget to turn on that bell icon so that you'll get notified about my latest videos. Have a great day and as always, fight the good fight.